Oh, again, everybody, it's Plowboy, Plowboy's Ghost Channel, and welcome back to Outlaws and Flip Flops. Now, let's do a little more talking about uh, the open top that I got, the Cimarron 1872, five and a half inch open top model. Since the little teaser truck top thing, I have put some Magnetusk grips on it off of eBay. Arizona Custom Grips, uh, one piece. This was the first thing I did. Took a little bit of work, me figuring it out, but I, and I'm kind of perfectionist, even though I'm not capable of perfection. It's tormenting. Anyway, these were not the antiqued ones. These were fairly white. They weren't, well, in sunlight, they were bright white. But, um, you know, in a little bit of shade, they looked an off white. I didn't want them yellow yellow and I didn't want them brown, but I took some Feebing's alcohol-based leather dye and did a little dip here and there, you know, 30, 60 seconds at a time till I got it like I wanted it. And I think it gave it just about the right amount of color. And I used the Feebing's tan. Tan is what that is. So let's get on with it. Uh, what can I tell you about the open top that you don't already know? I'm assuming a lot of y'all are like me in that you've watched other videos and this is your not your first exposure to some of these guns so that's why i don't go into them like some of the other channels do to tell you every tiny little thing uh because i figure you probably know some of y'all know more than me about it you know uh <laughs> i have carried this gun around in this holster and this has been my late night watching tv gun and stuff pretty much ever since I got it even before I put this grip on it but now since I've put this grip on it y'all I'm in love with it this material that uh, Arizona custom grips uses now I've never owned a set of real ivory grips so I can't compare it and I'm not going to I'm sure they're I'm sure they're better you know in a lot of ways but y'all I have handled several guns with uh, polymer or you know a composite or whatever grip you know fake grip and they all, you know, for some of them, I worried that this would feel like cheap plastic in my hand. It don't feel like that at all. Even when the uh, even when the grip panels were off and I was handling them, they, they are advertised as being just, a, well, not advertised, but I've read that they're a little bit heavier and more dense than ivory is. I believe that. They don't sound like, when you peck them with your fingernail, they don't sound like plastic. They sound like something a lot heavier and more dense. So... Let's see, I have unloaded this gun. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm sure I did. Oh, five and a half inch 45 coat. I've got my standard loads, you know, that I, I shoot in every single replica that I've got. Oh, standard pressure only, y'all, if you don't know. And uh, tell you what, let's do. There's some folks bought this land around us back here. Bought a lot of it. They've had it for a while, but they haven't been doing anything with it. Now they're about to build, if I understand it right, three or four houses back there. The biggest house is going to be right in the line of my shooting. So I've got to refigure some things. We're actually thinking we might be looking for another place ourselves. More land, less house now that most of our kids are growing up moving out. But anyway, point is, I feel the clock ticking. So let's shoot this sucker. Y'all gonna see the first shots with it? If I was smart like Hickok and a bunch of them others, I'd be shooting it, shooting it, shooting it, and I'd look a lot better when I got on camera. Y'all know, y'all ain't gonna buy that if I do it. <laughs> you know I'm gonna goof. Let's go do that. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Let's load it up and shoot it from about 10 yards and see if I can hit anything. You know, the sights on this, by the way, Maybe you can see it up there. The rear sight on this is a pinched little sight on the back of the barrel. And it really presents a small sight picture for me. My eyes are getting worse as I get older. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> can I really blame it on the sights? I'm not gonna do that. If they're good enough for anybody else to hit with, and they are, and I have no real excuse. So let's do this from about, that's maybe about 10, 11, 11, 12 yards. First shot one-handed, 
Hell, why not? I don't think it's going to make no difference. All right. Got to have a miss. Got to have a couple misses. The ejector knob on this does a little bit more turning, turning, swinging out than it does on some of the other models, so that's a little different. I think I mentioned in that last video that I got tennis elbow real bad. I'm going to shoot it two-handed because my elbow's hurting me bad. From all that ice and snowstorm cleanup, all the limbs and stuff and all I did and that saw and stuff, I did too much and that's been months and they ain't got better because I haven't took it easy on them. Anyway, enough whining. Feel a little better about it. See what I mean? With a knob here, ejector knob, it really does kind of swing way out. Works just fine though. Well y'all, I'm gonna declare that gun a winner. Even with a little old bitty sights. The only misses I made were my own fault. And y'all, I ain't shot. I ain't shot anything in, good Lord, how long has it been? Last time I did it was on camera. That's been a long time. I like this open top. I like the look. I like the feel. You know, I'm not saying I have favorite. Well, I guess I do kind of have favorites amongst my own guns. But... Now, there's nothing wrong with any of, of the others and I guess it could be that this is just sort of the new one the new kid on the block that's kind of fresh but yeah well, I really like that grip it feels good in my hand it's not as slick as as you might think they would be and when I did this I did a lot of shaping and sanding to get it like I want it and it's not a hundred percent perfect but it actually looks better than some that I've seen in magazine well on online articles the fit come out just some places better than some of them not toot my own horn too loud but anyway when I got through with this getting the shape about where I wanted with four and six hundred grit sandpaper I went over it with a fifteen hundred two thousand and then twenty five hundred smoothing it up and got it kind of shiny before I did the little dip and I don't know how long this leather dye is going to stick on it We'll just see. It's a popular thing. I've, I've, I'm not. I didn't pioneer the the uh, the usage of that Fabings leather dye. And coffee and tea would not touch this. I tried and tried and tried. So that Fabings with, with alcohol in it, at least it took it for a while. We'll see how long it lasts. Let's shoot something else on the next video. And let's do the next video sooner. What y'all say? Uh. Thanks for watching.